And last question, being in camp with Virgil Hunter and Andrew Ward, uh, what advice have they give you? Because it, they, they have their uh, runnings with Gennady Golovkin and his team. Uh, what advice have they give you? It's just, it's a mental battle. Um, Andrew Ward, I've, I respect and have the utmost respect for that guy. He's a, he's a role model for me. I've looked up to him since I was an amateur. And um, just hearing him talk and feeling the presence and the energy, it's just great for me and it's added for motivation because, you know, sometimes you can go through little phases, little laps and camps, but when you have these guys around and pushing you and, you know, that's what I feel like I was missing back in New York because you know, there wasn't a lot of true champions out there that you kind of rub shoulders with, but, you know, being out here with guys who've been at this level is very helpful. In regards to Andre, does it surprise you his retirement talks? Are you, are you, does that... It's surprising, uh, but I fully support him if he wants to retire because a guy like that who has done everything from an amateur and professional standpoint, you know, I mean, what else What else could you ask for? Some people feel that he should, being that the clause was in the contract, that he should give the rematch to Kobale before he retires. Do you think that's just do or um, depends? I mean, I mean, you know, that's, that's up for debate. You know, like I said before, I have to support any decision he chooses to make. Uh, as a fan, I would love to see him back in there again. Uh, but as a friend and someone who I admire, uh, you know, I support him when, no matter what. Because it will be a much easier fight for him. Do you believe that uh, if he was to face uh, In my opinion, yeah, I believe that it'll be, uh, I won't say easier fight, but I feel like he has uh, the edge now, especially the mental edge. And, uh, you know, that's very critical for a guy like that at that level. So, Danny, in the past, Gennady has done some kind of showboating in a way of when he's fighting, he kind of lets his hands down and lets people hit him. And he's, you know, kind of his reasoning behind that is that he wants to get the fans a show. If he does that with you in the ring, how's that going to work out? Well, I think you're, you're a fool if you believe that he allows anyone to hit him. Uh, but if he does, then he would know the dangers of those guys. But I'm a completely different guy. I don't think he would allow me to hit him. I think you'll be a fool to just sit there with your hands down to give the crowd a rouse, you know. But if he wants to do that, I mean, by, I mean, by all means, it, right? by all means, 